I think a competitive university has a, a lot of different features to them. So the first of all would be um, things about their rankings and their reputation, both amongst the student population, but also amongst graduate employers, uh, and also how they're perceived, obviously, within their, uh, their individual countries and around the world. Uh, I think another thing that makes a university competitive is the amount of applications that university receives. Obviously, the more applications that a university receives, the, uh, the more choosy they can be with the students that they take. And then finally, I think that uh, how a uh, competitive university is their entry requirements. So not only how many people that you're up against, obviously, for that one place, but how competitive their actual entry requirements are. So higher tariff universities tend to be more competitive due to the nature they get more applications, and their courses tend to be a bit tougher as a result of that, obviously, then they ask for higher uh, entry requirements. The thing with a competitive university is, however, it's down to individual students. Obviously, if the student wants that individual university, then that's the most competitive thing for them. If the student, you know, if they have the highest ranked university in the world, but the course isn't offered there, then for that individual student, it's not competitive. So I think it goes back to the individual offer. I think when you start speaking to the students and start building a rapport with them, I think the main take home point from that conversation is often the course. Because if the student enjoys what they're studying and where they study it, they never study a day in their life. So if they're, un if they're undertaking modules they enjoy, uh, field trips that they really want to go on to, and they're linked with the employees that they potentially want to go on to afterwards, then I think that is a very good indicator for the students and it's something we consider. What we were very careful about is if a student comes to us and I think they're not a right fit for our university, I'll tell them because we want to attract the right type of students that is ultimately going to be with us and thrive with us as well. So I think it's a case of being open and honest, but I think the main thing to consider and not forget is the individual students. What is right for one student won't be right for another. And by having that conversation and building that rapport, I think we can, we can tackle that. I think UK universities are particularly good at linking uh, students with employers, whether that be through fairs, through sandwich years, through placements, but also encouraging them to do things outside of their degree. So whilst the degree and where you get that from is fantastic and going to a British university is a very good standing internationally, I think it's also encouraging them to do extra things, so such as joining societies, um, you know, traveling around the world, uh, building those soft skills that employers are after. The degrees that we give at UK universities will equip you with the hard skills, the talents and the expertise you require, but what we need to do and what we're getting a lot better at is employ given the soft skills and you get that through joining the societies, having the placement with the individual employer and ultimately building you as a person so when you leave a UK university you're the full package academically and also personally.